Hi, my Taurus and Taurus Rising friends. Sandra from For Your Chi. Here to do your monthly tarot and oracle card reading for November of 2022. Thanks so much for being here with me. Still trying to get to 1,300 subscribers, so please help me do that so I can select three lucky winners for free readings with me. However you want to go about that, I would appreciate. But let's get into your reading. Now, I always love it when there's a stray card that flies out of the deck as I'm pre-shuffling and it shows up again in your reading. So we're going to get to that. Um, <laughs> it just tickles me. There, there are a few things about this reading that tickles me. Okay, but let's just get right into it. Your first house, where you're at right now, the first week of November, hope. You have hope that things are going to change for the better. That's a very good place to be. What is your advice card? Take action. Take action here. So I feel like this is um, not pounding the pavement necessarily day in and day out. I feel like this is taking inspired action. So you're working smarter, not necessarily harder, because there is divine timing in all things. Okay? So trust your intuition with that, Taurus, so that you don't burn yourself out and get discouraged. You have conflict and defeat in your house of money and your stuff. This is avoiding arguments and conflict when it comes to your money, your bank accounts, your spending. Now, this does not mean if you have, so if you have joint finances, in other words, this does not mean that you just let the other person run all over you and do whatever they want. Because there has to be balance in all things. So while you're not giving them permission to do whatever it is that they feel like doing, you're also not going to fight about it. Does that make sense? I know that can be hard for a Taurus because they want to be the bull in the china shop, but there's going to have to be a, some sort of compromise, some sort of way that you can draw the line in the sand and say, okay, that's not acceptable. We're not going to do that. We can do other things, this, this, and this instead. You know, you may... You may have to give, if you have joint finances with someone, you may have to give that someone an allowance of what they can spend. And then if they spend over that, then there's going to be a problem from you. Then there's going to be a fight. Then there's going to be a bull in the china shop. Be assertive. <laughs> That's why I'm saying this. So, you know, this person needs a very stern talking to, a very stern warning, and then let it be. Let them do what they're going to do. Hopefully they do the right thing. If they don't do the right thing, then it's a problem, Aries, or excuse me, Taurus. I'm saying Aries because we pulled an Aries card in the seventh house, which that is the other part that tickled me about this reading. I'll get to that in just a minute. Now, if you do not have joint finances with someone, but um, perhaps you have a child or a sister or a brother or some younger person, I guess it could be older too, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, that seems to have their hand out all the time with you. You know, they need money to get their toenails done or their hair done, or, uh, you know, they need money to go bra shopping. You see what I'm getting at? The answer is no from the Taurus. You are tired of it. This has gone on for too long and it is time to lock it up and cut them off. But you're not fighting about it. You're just done. You are done. And for good reason. 
Okay, this is not for no reason. This is for a very good reason. Okay, your I feel like I'm being more blunt than normal in these readings, but especially yours. Your third house of brother or sister. Firm foundations, they have laid the groundwork for what they're doing next. They're feeling good about that. They're feeling in a much better place than they have been previously. There's something about reconsidering here. Okay, so they may have a job that actually calls them and begs them back. I've had this happen to me before. They beg me back. In fact, I had a time where this dude... I put in my two weeks notice and he called me in his office the next day and he said, name the amount, name the amount of money per hour and I will pay you to stay. And I said, thank you very much, but no, thank you. It's not worth it. But in this, in this message, they're really being asked to reconsider. And that's not just from the other part. Now, it could be a relationship too, right? It could be a previous relationship or an existing relationship that your brother or sister has decided to quit. And then all of a sudden, the universe, but not necessarily this person, is saying, wait a minute, hold on. You know, maybe you made too harsh or rash of a decision. Maybe it's time to rethink that, okay? That's the universe's message to your brother or sister. Your fourth house, house of home, new beginnings. And it's funny because the oracle speaks of the same thing. One moment. Sorry, I had to sneeze. I didn't want to sneeze into the microphone. New beginnings with regard to where you live. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean moving. It could, if you've been thinking about it, or if you want to move. There's something better here. This card literally says there's something better. Can you see that? This could be changing up your house in some way. Renovations, sprucing it up, decorations. Um, some kind of home improvement could be DIY. Um, this could be feng shui. This could be, um, litter, like fall. There's a lot of people that are clearing out clutter right now. Okay. So the act of doing so would bring better things to you as a result of the feng shui. Also, if it's not talking about where you live, remember this could be talking about your father in the fourth house. Your father could be experiencing something new, a new opportunity on his horizon. Uh, this could be a new job opportunity, a new relationship, new even career path. He could be retiring and then you know how they don't like to just sit around the house and then doing some sort of side work, side jobs, tinkering around in his workshop or something like that. And just know you may have to encourage him if that is the truth for you, that there are better things out there than just everyday grind that he was doing previously. Okay, your fifth house, house of socialization, fun, friends, friendship groups, and dating life for those of you single tourist people. The waiting game says patience is required at this time. However, success will be assured after this period of patience. <laughs> a year from, we got a timing card here, a year from now. So your friendship circles are not where you wish them to be. However, in exactly one year from now, November 2023, you will see a complete turnaround. Um, same for you Taurus people who are single that you're looking to date. Um, so keep that in mind. Mark your calendars. Sixth house, work and health. Rejoice in celebration. This is the three of cups in traditional tarot. There's definitely something to celebrate in, in work or health, and you have perfect timing. 
Now, this could also be a work-related party or event that you attend that you have a very good time at. There could also be some sort of celebration, recognition with you and your work. You may get some sort of recognition or employee of the month award or something like that. Um, fabulous news, Taurus. Okay, so let's get to this. Let's get to these tarot cards of who is around you in your seventh house. We have the high priest. Now I read the high priest as a Mars ruled Zodiac. Who is that? The Scorpio or the Aries? And I, I'm saying Aries because um, not only is this an Aries card, Mars ruled, Mars traditionally rules Aries. It, co it only co rules, rules Scorpio, so it's more Aries than it is uh, Scorpio. But I'm laughing because I know two Taurus women I'm friends with who are both married to an Aries. So that's funny to me. And then the Nine of Wands here, um, which is a fire card. So that's Aries, Sag, and Leo. And we have the Chariot, which is a Cancer card to in traditional reading uh, readers. But to me, it's also a Gemini card. Okay, so if you'd like to join me in the extended, we've already gone through houses 1 through 6. We're going to be going through the rest of the houses 7 through 12. The link is contained below. It is on Patreon. I've made it affordable for everyone. $5.55 a month. You will get all of the extendeds, plus you're going to get the yearly readings that I do. Um, as a Tier 2 subscriber, Tier 2 is the $5.55 a month that gets you both Tier 1 and Tier 2. And we're going to be going over your seventh house of relationships. If you've ever wanted to do the extended, I would highly encourage you to do it this month just because I'm, I'm pulling from a new deck from the seventh house. Um, it's not the romance angel cards. It is the journey of love deck. And I'm reading it right from the book. And it is so profound and uplifting for the love portion of this reading. It's amazing. We're going to be going through your eighth house also of taxes, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant other's income, your ninth house of career, or excuse me, your ninth house of school and travel, your 10th house of career and your mother, 11th house is children or your best friend, 12th house is the future card, what's about to happen three months from now. Many blessings. Thanks for being here with me, Taurus.